Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number four. All right, the previous episode. Um, a few things happened. A few of my initial predictions kind of got completely shut down. <laughs> I thought like Dobu and um, what was his name? Uh, the guy, uh, the police guy. Uh, can't remember his name, but you know, both of them were working together and they were somehow involved with the kidnapping. Turns out that's not the case. They're also trying to find the uh, girl who has been missing and uh, a lot of other things are happening at the same time and, and a few new uh, like you know things kind of sprung up upon us one thing that kind of we got to know is uh, one of the idol uh, girls she uh, is contacting ag uh, you know like and they kind of met and uh, her manager is following them uh, like you know and a completely new thing just sprung up upon us now there'll be like you know mystery surrounding that as well i'm guessing and shirakawa we also got to know about more about shirakawa and the more i you know see her interacting with the main character i had the initial impression that she's probably trying to use odokawa for some things you know some kind of thing like, it's not that she really likes him it's it's just i thought that she probably needed him for something but but as i said like the more i look at her the more i am like you know watching her interact with the main character i feel like i I'm probably wrong but there's still this nagging thing be behind me like you know that kind of says that no maybe there is something that is suspicious about her I don't know but she really sounds genuine and I feel like I might be like you know the, my this uh, what do you call it this pred prediction that I made might also be shut down later on because I might be wrong here as well so uh, let's wait for it because I, I myself personally really does not do not want my uh, what do you call it prediction that yeah Shirakawa must be using Odokawa for something I really don't want that to come true because Odokawa really like you know seems like a really nice guy and she it really seems she really like you know he, he kind of does care about Shirakawa and Shirakawa also looks kind of genuine so I really want like you know my prediction to come wrong I want like you know I I really want them like you know Shirakawa genuinely to like him and uh, you know like for this relationship to blossom or something like that but let's wait for it um, I'm sure we'll get more answers because one thing I'm kind of noticing about this show <laughs> is that a few of the things which are shown in a very serious manner and we are kind of thinking a lot of things in the end like you know when we get to actually know what's behind it what's the actual truth behind it it's nothing much it's very simple and it's it was nothing even to be concerned about so i i feel like you know my uh what do you call it uh my suspicions and my uh like the things that i'm feeling that i'm kind of suspecting shirakawa and I'm suspecting a few other characters as well all of that might prove to be wrong by the end of it <laughs> that's one thing that this show really does well i can kind of understand they kind of make you suspect characters and by the end of it you actually realize that oh my god they were really like you know, nothing to suspect about it so <laughs> kind of funny so yeah well so let's get started this episode number five of odd taxi so without further ado uh let's get started with this episode all right so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Oh, and Dobu also kind of threatened Odokawa a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
Oh, and Goldie Kick went missing as far as I can remember. Chiragawa kind of was kind of talking about that. So that's another thing. Okay, let's see. Tanaka's revolution. Oh my god. What? It's four years ago. Oh. oh, that very true, you know, now that I think about it. Damn. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. Stationary. Okay, true. <laughs> wow, that's an eraser. <laughs> wow, through erasers. Okay, interesting. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Two of them. All right. Whoa. That's an eraser. Whoa. One rare eraser. Okay. Dodo, yeah. They're extinct, aren't they? Dodos. Bad. Hmm. <laughs> Maru, my. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, true. Hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, one of a donna. Super rare. Only one of them. You need money to buy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god!
2000 yen. Zero bits. I'm guessing it's an eraser, that's why. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Oh my god. I hope something's going to go wrong. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god. This will be very... Oh, someone's bidding. Oh no! How much? Oh lord. Yeah. Why not wait for the last moment and but uh Yeah, wait for the last moment and then like oh god. And remember, the, oh, he's doing this with his dad's mom. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, someone's here. Oh, God. The brother's here. Santa. No! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Art. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Maybe if it, it turns out that he's the one who did the bid. Yeah. Oh no. His dad will obviously like realize that. Wait. Wait, it did not. Did he get scammed? Oh my god. Yeah, they got to know. Country. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell was that?
Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Alright, that's why. Oh, th this thing they were playing uh, the homo sapiens <laughs> yeah true hmm hmm <laughs> oh the dodo The normal. Oh, it was super special rare. Okay. <laughs> gotcha again. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I know the I know <laughs> what gacha is. Bitch. Wait a minute. Wait, isn't this the 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 guy who was uh, wait. Yeah. I doubt that. Yeah, true. Oh no. No, he's again walking that same path. Okay. Okay, don't spend money on it. That's basically it. like. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> it's again walking the same path. Oh, my God. Four years ago. Okay. Oh no. Don't get fired. Oh my god. This Tanaka. Oh god. No, oh no.
Out. Red Panda. Still no Dodo. Kaki. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. Okay. Four years. Damn. Sixteen years. Yeah. Oh! Oh! This was that guy! Oh my god! Who we saw? Oh, come on! Nowadays games have the like you know auto save feature. Come on, nowadays gacha games have this, like, it will be saved automatically. Come on, what, why, like... <sighs> oh, damn. Oh no, the bird is gone. Hmm. Wait, what what is that? Oh no, this is oh my god, Dobus are great. Oh, it's like Homo sapiens. Damn. Oh my god, he's looking at all the taxis. Oh no, well... Ah. Ah. <laughs> Come on! Damn. And oh my God. wow, this episode.
Oh God. Damn. Yeah, he is looking at all the taxis. Oh, he, he was chasing that Otokawa. Gone. Whoa. It ended in a weird position. God. So, so I'm guessing this will continue uh, in the future episodes as well. He, he's going to continuously try to find Odokawa now. Wow, like as if the problems he was he were facing were not enough. The whole thing with Dobu and now this guy. Damn, that, that, that was an episode, I have to say. Uh, well, this episode really reminded me of one thing. Mm, it reminded me of Monogatari. It, it was basically a person talking throughout the whole episode, but it was entertaining. Like, that's basically like, you know, like, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge Monogatari fan. Obviously, my <laughs> channel low. Is that the end? Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, I'm a huge Monogatari fan. Like from my <laughs> channel logo, you can probably guess. Guess it's Oshino Shinobu from Monogatari series. But yeah, like Monogatari. Like, in my opinion, Monogatari is like one of the not one of the but the best anime that I have ever come across because of a lot of things. But I'm not going to talk about that here. Uh, one of the things that really entertains what really entertains me up with about Monogatari. It's the banter, continuous, like, you know, way they talk with each other, it, it flows so well, and, like, you know, an episode completely ends, and you actually realize by the end of the episode that no one did anything, they were just talking throughout the whole episode. About 20 minutes, two people were talking, they didn't even move a little bit, they just were, like, you know, bantering, continuously talking in one same place, they didn't even leave the room. And you were thoroughly entertained throughout that 20 minutes just by seeing two people talking. That's like one of the best things that it does. This episode really reminded me of that as it was just him talking. Throughout the whole episode, he was talking and I was entertained. I was thoroughly entertained. He, he like, you know, like it, it was just amazing. The, the, uh, the conversation flowed so well. It just continuously went on and on and on and on. And like, <sighs> fantastic. This was one of the best episodes, I have to say. And it actually shows us how a very tribal thing can uh, become something so dangerous and so, um, like, you know, uh, like, obsessive. Like, that's why, like, uh, they say, like, I always keep everything at a mod, like, you know, do everything in a moderate amount. Do not try to, you know, like, nothing is good in excess, as they say. And, uh, yeah, like, this, this started with an eraser. A total eraser that's how it started and now he's trying to kill a person like how things escalate um, so <clears throat> right so this episode um, in the beginning I obviously did not realize who this guy was uh, I thought he was a new character but then I actually realized that he's one of one of the guys from I think the previous episode or was it episode 2 I can't remember but from one of those two episodes he was that guy who, who was standing and like you know jumped and fell down and like at that moment we were following Odokawa so we kind of moved on with that but actually so much things were happening in the background this episode made us realize like that one small little thing has started such a huge I don't know what to even call this like obsession and a huge like revenge thing that's going on now 
<clears throat> okay, so I love this episode. This is really great. Like, okay, so how will everything how everything starts? It starts with the Doro shaped eraser as the person who was actually like you know uh, like they were competing with each other all that stuff him actually realizing that he has no special qualities as they say which makes you know children popular for example looks strength uh, being funny being uh, what else like you know being intelligent uh, having like you know uh, you know having fun all that kind of stuff he did not he had nothing of uh, none of them and that's why the only thing he considered himself prided himself about was that dodo shaped eraser which was quite rare and he himself made up a competition as to with with one of the other guys who was quite popular with a few people because of his uh, varied uh, what do you call it um, collection of erasers he made a competition I, I doubt he even knew that he was like you know competing with him i doubt that because I, I never saw them kind of interacting like i think it was like a, a competition that he made up himself so like that's one thing and another thing is like looking at it now i actually realized that that, that the guy who, who had better erasers he and his other friends were just having fun. It was not a, like, you know, if you look at it that way, it was no competition, nothing like that. He just wanted to show his erasers to his friends, uh, brought something good. And he thought like, let me just go and show this to my friends. And those were a few of the friends. I'm sure this story would have gone completely different if, uh, his name is Tanaka, wasn't it? Yeah. If Tanaka, went to them and said that oh you have so such cool erasers uh, look at this i also got this one from a man of my like, you know relatives or someone and they could have had a conversation they could have talked they could have had fun and later on as they moved on from the erasers he could have moved on alongside with them and joined them with whatever they would do that's how you make friends you know it, he himself made a one-sided competition with that guy and later on he actually realized that like you know like it's not that the competition that he was like he just wanted friends that was basically it he just wanted to um what do you call it to uh interact with people to um be like other people have fun like other people have friends but he he just made it a uh, one-sided competition and when everyone were moved on from the erasers he had nothing left so like it's sad to think about it if you think about it that way because as we saw like you know like th th those friends were pl playing with the erasers first and then when they moved on they started playing soccer or something like you know and had, had fun with themselves if, if Tanaka was there with them he himself could have let go of the erasers and like you know he could have been good friends with them if he just went to them and talked with them but unfortunately yeah like like I can actually realize that as time went on that the actual problem was him you know he had no way of interacting with people he he could not do that like there are a lot of people like that who who find it a bit difficult to actually talk with people to interact with people that's why like you know people i always put this uh, logo on them like oh this guy he's a loner you know like this guy is a loner like happens in school like all, all the time not in, not only at school even at like you know colleges and stuff like this still happens like the the label of you're a loner whereas the person who has been labeled with it majority of the time i'm telling them majority of the time there are some exceptions obviously majority of the time that person does not want that he also he or she also wants to actually interact with others but the problem is they are unable to because they lack the uh, actual what do you call it uh, actual um, way like they don't know how to talk how to initiate a conversation like i, I can relate to this very much because yeah i, I also had still have that this problem <laughs> so like obviously not at, 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 at such an extent like tanaka not like that obviously i have my friends i talk with them but i still have this problem and I, i'm sure most of the people have this problem uh 
as they call them like you know introverts <laughs> but yeah anyways um so like uh, as i was saying like you know majority of the time these people do not want that thing they also want to talk with others and a few times there are really some people who really doesn't want to do anything with others they're just happy with themselves they're kind of an exception and it's all well and good for them they're happy with like you know kind of keeping to themselves they're happy with that like that's good like that's like on him like him or he or her like she can he or she can do what he or she wants to do if he does not want to talk with others all well and good but i'm talking about the people who actually does want to interact with others but cannot do that because of social anxiety other stuff so that was basically tanaka you know and he just like you know made up a thing the competition kind of thing and competed with them on his own unfortunately later he realized that it was just a whim you know and for that whim he did so many things he he stole the credit uh, card his dad's uh, you know card he did the whole auction thing and uh, now i i don't know why but i i think that the person who was selling this uh, eraser i don't think that he or she i'm sure that they like you know like this is just an eraser we are talking about like the person who got the bid you know like uh, uh no sorry the, the person who did the bidding like who, who was the actual uh person who had the eraser who was selling it he got how much did he got one million in you know something like that like so much money uh yeah it, it's one million isn't it no a hundred thousand yen okay a hundred thousand yen like you know so much money the person got so i don't think that the person like you know like would even scam him like so much money the person got so i'm sure something must have happened like like i'm sure the person sent the eraser something happened on the way or something like that because i i, I cannot see any reason for the person not sending or scamming him because it's just an eraser it's not like it's some kind of costly item or something i could have understood that yeah like if it was very costly i could have understood that he scammed him in this way and that way as well both ways and got the money and got the item as well but it's just an eraser so i don't know but anyways that's something completely different so yeah as i was saying uh, like he started escalating like, you know he did the whole like you know the whole mess that he got into the whole bidding thing he started increasing increasing and increasing and it's like a i don't know like it's like a weird feeling that you actually have in these type of situations like you know that's why people say that gambling or these type of things kind of make you crazy sometimes like, it's like a what would you call it like a rush of adrenaline like you know like someone's coming from the downstairs you're seeing that you have to win this one what should i do what should i do okay let's just increase it so much that the other person won't be able to bid and then when everything ends you actually realize what the hell have i done like it's a really bad thing you know like it's like you do something at the heat of the moment and this this is involving like you know actual money and th that actual money there like if it was at like you know his own earned money i would have been like okay like it was his mistake he did but it's, it was not even his own earned uh, owned money he didn't even ask for his parents you know ask his parents that yeah like i need this i i want to use your credit card can i do it nothing like that he he did everything secretly that makes it even worse so damn that was like a really messy situation and after he got that he, like so many bad things happened and like i don't blame him like luck has really been bad to him like, after like going through all that he didn't he doesn't even get the eraser and his friends move on from the whole eraser like you know thing and they start doing their own thing and he's left alone with nothing and then he by the end of it he actually realizes that yeah like i don't want to myself to like you know i don't want to get involved in these type of things again he starts despising actual money you know uh bought in-game goods or something virtual things and uh i was like okay like he learned his lesson oh boy <laughs> uh, god like and then he gets um what again obsessed with one thing 
that I think that he should have never gotten obsessed with given his track record. Gotcha. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but uh, like, you know, uh, I'm sure most of you know what Gacha is. Gacha is uh, <laughs> like I, obviously I I am uh, like I'm, if you have seen my channel, I play Fate Grand Order and all of these. these are all Gacha games, you know, where you there's like a thing of what do you call it? They, they call it like um, like luck is involved in it. If you actually get the characters that you want using the currency that the game provides for you, and the funny thing is that they provide for you a limited amount of currency which you have to like you know uh, store for yourself and the rates are very low so when you get obsessed with a character or someone and suddenly you see that oh all my currency has, are gone you get this feeling that no i really want her, him or her the character that i want and then you actually spend your money your, your like you know actual money to buy the premium currency Later on, if you're lucky enough, you might get the, the character, but if you're unlucky enough, you don't get uh, that character and in the end, you actually realize that your bank account is empty. That's what happens. Gacha is like that. So, <laughs> given his track record, he got obsessed in one of the worst things that he could have gotten obsessed with it. If he had self-control, go ahead. Gacha is not bad, obviously. If you have self-control, Gacha is amazing. It's, it's like, you know, like playing Gacha games are, like it's fun like you get a sense of accomplishment and yeah like i i play it and i know and i don't even spend money uh, a few of the games i kind of do but that's completely different like i don't spend money like my whole bank account is empty not like that so <laughs> like, given his track record he gets involved in a gacha game and in the beginning he started off pretty well he was doing everything like you know like a normal player like a normal free to play player as they call them f2p players and they like you know he it's all well and good he wanted that dodo but he's like okay like uh let me like you know just slowly slowly do it i'll get that dodo someday and yeah unfortunately he checks out who the top person is and the name of the person is the same as the person who uh got the bid money from now here's the funny thing he also realizes he also says it in this episode he says that it's not i'm not even sure if that person and this person are the same maybe they have the same name maybe it's, it's like a really weird coincidence but still but still his obsession starts uh what do you call it like you know kind of escalating one by one by one and like, like <laughs> when he says that just a sec He starts adding money. He starts adding money to his account, original, like you know, money, uh, actual hard-earned money. And as soon as he sees that name, Ditch Eleven, <laughs> I don't know. He starts obsessing again with that whole thing of that imaginary person who he was fighting against, and he starts losing. He starts getting more obsessed with it. Uh, everything starts kind of crumbling down his like you know his in his work everywhere he starts getting obsessed with this thing so much that it starts affecting everything his other like you know people like f he might have met friends in in the in his workplace like there's this one person who was actually greeting him every day and later on he starts even responding to her uh that and also like you know like i, I was kind of worried that he might get fired thankfully he did not get fired actually uh, <laughs> Like he could have gotten fired, but still, yeah. And then uh, obsessing all like you know the dodo he wants that he wants that dodo, and he himself says that there are a few uh, like, you know accounts that actually has the dodo and I can like buy it for them from them. It will you know cost a few you know, uh, thousand yen, but he has that obsession of getting that dodo himself and like you know beating that. Uh, the D, the person who is on the top of the leader force himself, that imaginary enemy that he's fighting against. And yeah, it escalates worse and worse and worse until he actually gets the dodo. But Lady Luck again <laughs> messes with him. Odokawa comes rushing in and he drops the phone. Now, here's the main thing here. 
like i don't know what type of game he was playing what type of gacha game he was playing but as soon as you like you know pull a character it gets saved to your account you know so even if you somehow you know uh drop your phone and your phone gets damaged at that moment it gets auto saved but here i'm guessing the like you know it did not have that type of uh, system where the as soon as you get a character it gets auto saved nothing like that so i'm guessing he probably would have to like press okay and then it would have probably gotten saved or something like that but yeah it, it turns out his his data is gone now now here's the thing he could have done a lot of things in this situation first thing that he could have done he could have went and uh, uh, you know like contacted the customer support and said that like this happened like i got this character like they always have like in the, in the customer support uh, center of, of, for the game they always have a list of like, you know people who actually what characters they're getting like every each and every information they have on their servers so if he just went and asked said them that yeah this time this moment i got this character and unfortunately my phone got busted at that moment i lost all everything uh, uh, during that moment and here is my bill my online bill that i used to play the, uh, like, you know get the, the premium currency i bought it with my money here's the bill and it's during this time please check your server uh, for some uh, like, you know you'll definitely get, get uh, what I'm trying to say, well, talk about, like you'll get your proof that I actually pulled for that character and got that character. It would have been great. It it would be great if you, like you know, give that character to me. And he could have just asked for it in a customer support. But he was so crazy at that moment. Everything went out of his mind. He became, like you know, devastated and all that stuff. His pet died at the same time, and. He himself says that everything's like coincidence and like you know but still like the way luck actually <laughs> did not favor him at all like it, it was it was sad seeing him like that and then he starts talking about like you know like momentary amounts of pleasure stuff like that like you know in his own and obsessing about the taxis that kind of drive past by him to actually find the guy who uh like you know who was the reason that is odokawa he finds that gun uh, like you know uh, underneath the tree and then he like becomes crazy completely he you know, starts walking on his path of vengeance wants to i don't know kill odokawa or something like that and yeah like escalates into completely messy situation now and I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode. Like, I'm sure he, I think he'll probably be on the lookout for Odokawa. And damn, this episode was something. So yeah, like, it's just an unfortunate episode where we see a, ca a character who has been so much treated, like, treated so worse, like, you know, so bad by his life. He, he has, like, you know, reached this position now. Now, obviously, like, I understand, like, a lot of people might say that, yeah, like, you know, like, it's just a game. Just a game. Like, that's not the point here. The point here is the way his life is treating him. That's the point here. Now, like, and I also kind of agree in a, uh, like, you know, to people, like, to people, the people who will say that it's just a game. I also kind of agree with them and disagree with them at the same time. As I said, I disagree with them because, as I said, like, you know, it's just that his luck is so bad. It's not that it's just a game. You know, I, we know that it's just a game. But the fact here is that how life is treating him so bad. That's the actual point here. And the way I actually agree with them is that, yeah, it really is actually a game. You know he could have just kept everything aside and actually started uh, to make like, you know some actual friends in his you know uh, in his office in his uh, job place whatever wherever even like you know like do something like actually interact with people he could have done that because there are actually people who are trying to talk with him because as we saw in the office and all that stuff 
and even if even if he does not want to make friends or he, if he wants to keep being a loner all well and good he could just switch to another game like, he could have just said that ah oh, like this is worse I, i'll rage quit and he just like you know deleted his whole own account and started another game he could have done that there are a lot of different ways he could have handled this situation but like you know his own obsession about her his past and being unable to let go of that thing made this escalate so badly and now he is in a position where he, he he's trying to kill someone just because his gacha character is gone like, <laughs> <laughs> if you say this so simple like, if you think about it it's a very weird situation actually because he's angry at at a taxi driver because his gacha character got deleted and he's trying to kill him because of that <laughs> like if you don't give give any context to this it really sounds weird and crazy but if you get like you know that's why i'm sure like you know we got so much actual ex exposition of actually what happened in this episode like you know like why he is like this now but yeah i don't know <sighs> like as i said like you know I, I, this episode really kind of uh, it's definitely one of the best episodes because there's a lot of things that i was actually able to relate to the first thing was as i said the whole loner thing like you know being uh, like having social anxiety unable to talk with people that thing uh, another thing is uh, like the gacha stuff because that's have like huge like immensely relatable to me because as i said like i play gacha games and it's there is really a, a sense of accomplishment that you actually get when you get that one character and if you suddenly lose it i i don't know what like you know like <laughs> <laughs> how i would actually react like imagine like i i have a like i play fgo as well like my fgo account is like three or more years like you know uh more than three years i've been playing and like you know everything has been kind of like with all on my luck hard work hard farming each and everything i did on my own and it's like one of my most treasured possessions now i think about it now like if someday somehow i i lose that <laughs> account like i hope it doesn't happen obviously but yeah like if something like that does happen i don't even know how i'll be able to react to it like it's like your three years worth of effort gone down i don't know but yeah as i said like that's another way it's very relatable and another reason why this episode really i really like this episode is the way they actually did it the monologuing the way the conversation flowed and it was fantastic it reminded me of monogatari and yeah this is definitely one of the best episodes i've seen in this you know anime and it's barely the fourth episode so yeah this odd taxi has been a real surprise each and every episode and like damn this is definitely one of the best animes that i've seen and it, as i said I, I i barely even started like this is the fourth episode only there's a, a lot more episodes left to go so yeah fantastic anime like i'm loving it so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to episode number four of our taxi so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction uh, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out Oh damn, like I've been speaking for a long while, like it's a very big video, like I usually do not talk this much, but like, you know, like this episode was so damn amazing, I had a lot of things to talk about it, <laughs> and it's like, I've been, I think I've been talking for about like 25 minutes, wow, so yeah guys, so thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Odd Taxi, so until then, goodbye, and have a nice day.